has the strategy of building socialism by a mixed situation in which a dominant position is played by the government with state-owned and operated enterprises, but a large portion, maybe 30, 40 percent, of the economy will be private enterprises with an emphasis, not exclusively, but an emphasis on worker cooperatives as being a core part of the other part of the economy. And that this is, this is a different concept of building socialism than we have seen anywhere else in the, in the socialist world. Is that a reasonable reading of what you're saying? Yes, yes, that was what I what I was trying to say and how the idea evolved and underneath that these like policy decisions is the understanding that social property or social control of the economy that in socialism in like Soviet style socialism was understood as state property and control over the means of production is not uh, necessarily uh, that e equivalent, no? That social property includes types of property like cooperatives where the workers are and, and the users are, are the owners of the enterprises. And, and they, but with the understanding that these cooperatives need to be uh, contributing to a greater, greater good as true cooperatives should do anyway if they uh, comply with the seventh pr uh, principle of commitment uh, with communities, right? And so, uh, yeah, that's a, a correct statement. Except for a few exceptions and some, I think, uh, uses of the cooperative model that were not the best. Uh, it, I think most of the population sees the cooperative as, as a useful and, and, and viable tool for strengthening socialism in Cuba, 